See, there it is. I don't know why it's not. You are a pathetic creature. <laughs> Thanks, OG. I'm trying to make it work. It's hard. So, surely the game has to end today. We're going to try and get out of prison. That's the main thing we're doing. We all remember I had various trips to prison. And the person who has the most stuff is generally the most important person. I think? You're sort of known as someone who, like, can get stuff. Like Morgan Freeman in Shawshank Redemption. He had all the stuff and people kind of left him alone. So my new tactic is steal everything. Okay, so first off I can see that there are things to steal here. So when he's not looking, I'm going to try and steal his ketchup. Take it now. Take it. Take it now. Get in the room. Can you get in the room? Get in the room. He has a bottle of ketchup for dinner. Lucky him. Brett said before that they, we can only go in the yard one at a time. So we let, maybe let's convince him to go in the yard. Hey, Brett. Maybe. Well, are you getting used to our little palace here? It's actually much I more spacious than my flat. So, left. yes. When are you going to fuck off? Can't go out together anyway. Just one by one. I'll go first. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks again. See ya. And now you leave. Brett, now you leave. I was sure that my stealing things would work. Right, go. Ah, I'm drinking! Okay, I'll be honest. I did look up a walkthrough and it did say steal the ketchup, so now what? <laughs> Maybe I have to reset it. Maybe as soon as I... Maybe if I sit down... Okay, the thing that I looked up is you steal the ketchup and then you put it in the guy's hat. That's the what we're trying to achieve. Clothes. Okay, that's fine. Let me go. I want to convince a man he has bled from his head. Get out there, right? I have to check yourself. Alright. Can I wander off at this point? So you... What? Why are there so many lines across your head? It... Being freaky. Can I just leave? Right, so this is the point at which we would put the ketchup in the hat. Uh, Sick. <laughs> the conversation. Only the door. So, it's at that point... Only the door. It's at that point he would realise that uh, he had red stuff coming out of his hat. Which would make him think he had hurt himself. <gasps> oh my god, it worked! Oh! Oh, Brett hopefully won't notice ah. that I served myself here. Now we go back and um, and put the ketchup in the hat. And pretty soon, we'll have escaped from prison. Okay. okay here we go. You check the doors downstairs and okay, stay totally... Totally calm. Get out there, right? I have to check yourself. Thank you, Mr. Greenberg. Okay. Here we go. Right. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Catch up. Catch up on the hat. Quick, quick, quick! He put his hand through the bars! <gasps> he could just- if he could do that, just walk out the prison, mate! Till the mayo appears. Oh, what about that like rain juice? Here we go. Ah! <laughs> he fainted! That's perfect. Now we can steal all of his things. Keys? Key. Anything else? No. We were just leaving him passed out on the floor. Totally fine. Off we go. Off we go! Guys, it's all opening up. Okay. Peter has not been here for weeks. Peter's not even slept overnight. <laughs> Seth, we're doing this really quickly. It's fine. Off we go. There we are. Oh! It almost looks inhabitable in here. Look at I all these dairy. mini donuts! Do you guys remember when Burger King were doing Diddy Donuts with dipping sauce? This was... 2002? Maybe this, maybe the inspiration for this game. Locked, oh my God, of I course. But I have a key. Can I use my key on the gun cabinet? I want a gun. That's not fair. Okay. Well, I don't want to look at the... Right. Can you take a donut? Because you must be starving hungry. Okay, the lockers. Nah, Great. not a chance. <gasps> what? Not a chance. Oh. Locked. Okay, that's fine. A monitor console. A monitor console. You can see exactly what's happening in every sector. 
But what is happening in every sector? Let's look out the window. So far, it's still quiet out there, but I only have a few minutes. Oh my god. Oh, microphone! Oh! Hey, my friend, I just relieved you from your pain. And We've from taken... the bad crowd you were hanging out with. Taking Mr. Longneck with us. I could just as well announce that I intend to try a breakout. Let's do it! There's only two guards here, and one of them is unconscious. The microphone of the officer's PA system. Come on. Where are we going? Is there anywhere else to go? Is this it? We just have Mr. Longneck with us. We came all the way in here. Okay. Let's... Oh, we're using the noose now. Let's use the noose on some lockers. No. Our key? Our key. Yeah, let's do some combinations. I wonder if he'll stop me from going outside. He'll be like, don't go outside. I'm not done here. No, okay, he just gives up. All right. I hope we don't have to do that ketchup puzzle again. He's still here. Can we plant something? Can we plant Mr. Longneck on him? Can we plant a... <laughs> Can we put a noose around him? No. Not Can we yet. key him? Not yet. Okay, so maybe I do need to go back in there. Let's go and see if we can get that bird. Oh, our mate's still outside. Maybe we won't be allowed outside. Take his clothes. I wish I could do that. Right, so are we going to offer the bread to the magpie? And then harness Mr. Longneck on the... Like... Like... Mr. Longneck is riding the dragon that is the magpie? We can do that. Stuff him in there. Okay. So let's try some combinations with the magpie. No. Well, you need to probably use the rope on uh, on this tree that I keep trying to jump at, and um, they tell me off for it. Rope on the tree. Rope on the tree. Mr. Longneck on the tree? Why do I have so, this? that is Mr. Longneck, then. These officers really have a sick kind of humor. Okay, so now I took the thread from Mr. Longneck. Maybe I could use it for... Oh... Just thinking about it turns my stomach, but I have oh? to do it. I have to. Swallow the key. Key in the bread. Key in the bread. With the string. Swallow the string. Pull out the key later. I can't think of any... Where upon my... I, I don't think this is it. No, they're going to yell at me. I couldn't see any way out of that door we opened. We sort of go, we went into the common room and that was it. It didn't really go any. Oh my god, so he stood up and walked away. Oh, poor guy. A what do you have to say about I this? I could probably find some civilian clothes in there from one of the officers or even a spare uniform. Yes. I could really use one of those. Yes, yes. How do I break into a locker? Usually I just use a pry bar, right? Or a crowbar. I... Is there another view I'm missing? Because usually the problem is I'm not looking out the correct window. Okay, need some help, guys. He was saying he felt sick, thinking about something. This is a non-interactable toilet. What? Who builds a non-interactable toilet? It's just an ornament. Hints and tips. Do we go for a big hint? Hang yourself. We'll try it. Maybe we could try and attach this to the top of our, um... Or maybe we have to frame... Maybe we have to frame Brett. So we've got wing, we've got... Plank bed. Can we hide things in the bed? There's nothing on the ceiling, so I can't actually hang myself. But that's an interesting idea. Waiting puzzle. You know, Gypsy, I hate... I hate waiting puzzles. I hate cat-related puzzles. No, what if no. I sit? Oh, we're not allowed to sleep. He's just lying there. I can I can see his ass right through the grill. Surely, Officer Smith, not Officer Smith, Officer. The other one. Uh, hurry up! Surely he'll come through at some point. Oh my God! There's a, there was a famous Peter Wright in the news the other day. What did he do? That was it. He was a he was a spy for MI6 in like the 80s and he'd released his memoirs and the government were trying to block his memoirs which is basically the plot of this game what is a Frakes interrogation so just have to find out if it works <laughs> have you ever walked out of a mall into a huge parking area and realized you'd forgotten where you parked your car yes actually that has happened that has happened to me except I not only walked out into a 
parking lot and forgotten where I'd parked my car. I'd forgotten that I owned a car, or indeed what had happened for the last five years of my life. So I did sort of wander around a bit and then decide, I'll press this key and see which car flashes. There we go, I found my car. <laughs> well, have a, we'll have a couple more suggestions. And then, I'll, and then I'll take a little look. Or, Gypsy, you can take a look and give us a cryptic hint. So, last ideas, everyone. Get them in, and then we'll have a cryptic hint. A cryptic... Yep. I have to say, the walkthrough for this game is a, <laughs> is a lot easier to read than the Druid's walkthrough. The Druid's walkthrough reads like a crazy dream. The Moment of Science walkthrough reads like any other walkthrough you would Even come across. Even if you do come up with something, it's going to suck. <laughs> It's true, it is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> the microphone is next. The microphone is next. That's your idea, OG. Okay. Certainly he was very scared to use it. But we'll have a look. Goodbye, bird. You are free to go. Long neck. Give an announcement. Piece of string. Give an announcement. Gypsy, can we have a discreet clue? What did Pete say about the string again? Oh, okay, let's listen okay. to that. So now I took the thread from Mr. Longneck. Maybe I could use it for... Oh, just thinking about it turns my stomach. But I have okay. to do it. I have to. <laughs> what, Peter? Can't time out. Okay, something to do with the dentist thing. Pulling out a tooth. Yeah, yeah, I was taken to the dentist. And they took my tooth out. I mean, like, the torture dentist. They took my tooth out. And I came back here, and then they're like, oh, we're going to send you to the dentist again. Um, they have not done that, and I suspect they won't whilst he's unconscious. There's a chip in my tooth. All right, Pete, come f over here for an oral examination. An oral examination live on Twitch. Peter, face me. Face me. Come, come here. Peter. He doesn't want to. He's squeamish. Can I use this string on you? Nope. Won't have it. This is the door we unlocked. Quick now, before he comes to. Oh. Alright, so we're stealing Mr. Longneck, and that's it, we're putting the key back on him. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Thank you for the cryptic clue. Right. That was close. Oh shit, <laughs> it really was. <laughs> you alright, Smith? Off he goes. I guess he's fine. <laughs> we got away with it. Well done, team. Brett is still not back. Oh my god, he was taken away. He was killed. I'm also concerned that this is Governor's Island. And, like, where is the mainland? If you look in any of these directions, we're just nowhere. It's too much time to think about it. Is he going to garrot a guard? We could. <gasps> Burton stands there with his back to us. The we can fucking garrot the guard. If I'm not mistaken, the cell doors on my level will open in a no, moment. No, Gypsy, we're not doing that. We're killing someone instead. Forget the puzzle. Oh come on! You could totally do that. I mean, I'd be locked in here, but still. That would have worked. Without the key, I can't do anything here. Yeah, but you. You gave up the key without having looked in the locker. Have I fucked myself? I think I want it to be night time. How do I make it night time? I thought sitting on my bed made it night time. Does it not? What if I sit down again? What if I just routinely sit down until... Until I die here, until the end the of time. Hurry up! This might take as long as the Atlantic Ocean's tide takes to go out. <laughs> this is... May... Oh my god, oh gee, maybe you're right! Maybe this is the moment of silence. So I might stand here for another minute until you tell me, stop fucking around and go sit upstairs. <laughs> I'll wait for you to tell me that, if it's the case. But otherwise, yeah, we'll just enjoy this moment of silence, which I am filling with just drivel. Let's have a look. Okay, Governor Island. Enter Peter Cell and sit on the bed. As soon as it's able to move the cursor, click, click. Oh my god. Right, well, yeah, maybe we will be sick. At this next point, they're getting the ambulance ready for what we're about to do. Because this, this might make you feel squeamish. It's not a waiting puzzle, thankfully. We're going to sit down again. 
We're going to wait the for the door. Cells close. Right, it's morning if time I'm not now. Mistaken, the cell doors on my level will open in a moment. Okay, and now. And now. Warning. Oh god, they animated it. Oh, Jesus. Peter! Peter! Ah! Was that blood splatter on the wall from that? Ugh! Why do I need my tooth? God, there it is. My tooth. And this sadist in the treatment room hit a transmitter in it. Oh. Alright, so now we can maybe flush it. Flush it. Am I going to put it on the magpie? I'm going to tie it to the magpie. The magpie's going to fly away with my tooth. And they're going to think, he's got out of here. And they're going to run away. Abandon the entire prison. And then I'm just going to walk out. Right. Tooth, magpie. Tooth and magpie. Back we go. Goodbye, magpie. <laughs> They're going to think Peter Wright's flying off across the Atlantic. Okay. So. Oh, wait, no. Do I stay in the yard? Do I now need to get... Oh, there's a new magpie. Don't tell me how to pull out a new tooth. Surely not. Oh, my tooth is there. What? I thought... Okay, maybe we can't... Maybe we shouldn't be coming back outside once we've given this tooth to the magpie. Maybe we have to use the magpie on the walls rather than... I swear we just lost our tooth. Okay, that... right. Tooth and magpie. Right. So now maybe we'll just try and throw the magpie over the wall. So I have my tooth again. Why do I have my tooth again? I thought I put it on the magpie. Maybe I need to break into these lockers. Maybe the bird isn't what we're meant to be doing right now. He's <laughs> sucked up into the vortex. Oh. Oh, it's shut. I didn't even sit down and it's shut. What if I sit down again straight away? The upper but cells close. Okay, well, that's fine. So we have our... What if I tie the string? Do I get a new tooth? Oh my god, how many teeth am I taking out? Do I have two teeth now? No. Maybe we make the bird... Well, why has that happened now? Why is it night time now? It wasn't night time before. I came down. What the hell? It was broken. You're kind of right, it was broken. I don't understand. Alright, well, let's get the magpie. And Also, surely the doors open in the morning, so why is it night time when the doors are just open? Okay, so now that it's night time, let's try. Night sky. Throw the bird into the night sky. Straight up. Any part of any part of the sky would do, Peter. Peter. Any part of the sky. Where are you going? It has to be that part of the sky. All right, that's fine. Off he flies. Okay. Now or never. Okay, now or never. Now we'll try and climb the tree, maybe. Maybe this is now when we climb the tree. The music's changed. It's a good time. Let's do it then. Oh. Oh. We escaped! Guys! Congrats! I don't know where I'm swimming, though, because, um... Oh, it's over there. It was over there the whole time. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, this is a good side take. <laughs> oh, poor magpie. No, don't shoot the magpie! <laughs> the Statue of Liberty, what are you doing? <laughs> so stupid. No! Oh, Peter, you swam in a leather jacket. <laughs> that was wonderful. Oh.
October. How many dates has it been? I can't remember what day we started on. September 21st or something. Okay, so I'm going to go straight back to my flat. Which is exactly where they would expect me to be. What is my mission in life? I just go upstairs and marry Debbie? I guess they assume I'm dead. Oh! Yeah, I guess. But surely they would like... <sighs> I'm confused. <laughs> well, let's talk to Bob anyway. Bob, don't be scared. Peter, what the? Please be quiet, Bob. I'm knee deep in trouble. You are you way beyond knee deep. I don't have a messenger anymore. Please, give me a ticket for the mag train, quick. You <gasps> we finally get train? to go on the mag train. Yes, 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 yes. Please, I have to get out of here fast. Okay, okay, of course. Thanks, Bob. Thanks a lot. You have to give yourself up, Peter. That's not an option for me. I gotta run. Not, not a gonna word happen. to anybody. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Oh, Bob. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't think anybody ever. Of uh, that man's, he knows I'm here. It's that man who follows me. I don't think anyone voted that Bob would uh, be the one to. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, uh, hang on, Peter, please. Please, please, sir. Peter, I, uh, I don't want to go on the mag train straight away. I want to go upstairs and see Debbie. I'm not sure we've had anyone no. betray us. First place to look for me is my apartment. Well, you're right outside your apartment, so I don't know why you didn't think that would be the first place. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh my god, of all the places to go to. Okay. What? Why is it open this time? I have to ring him every other time. <gasps> Pigeon Stewart! Pigeon Stewart! There he is! He's alive and well, guys! What a champ. Let's go back to the secret room where our secret friend was. Surely it would have been destroyed. The police came. Surely they would have destroyed everything by now. Oh my gosh, where's my piece of paper? Re remember we had that coordinate and he was like, I better remember this coordinate. And I was like, I'm never going to fucking remember this. I better write it down. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Here it is. Here it is. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. N-523. Okay, so surely that's where we need to go. Can I turn the light switch off? Because we don't need to do this anymore. Yeah, we can. <laughs> cool. Maybe we should just use the telephone. I don't think coming back here is the right thing. It didn't seem very helpful. Where is the telephone? Surely he has one. There it is. There it is. Can I use it? No. He's just going to do some crunches instead. Peter, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, no, fine. I didn't choose to come here. Peter chose to come here. What did the guy say last time we saw him? He would have the locker key. Why would... What? Why would Mr. Huntington have a locker key for a prison guard locker on Governor Island? And why would we need to go back there? I just escaped. Why would I find a key? for the prison I was just in, and then go back <laughs> to open the locker and get civilian clothes in order to um, escape again. The locker at the airport. Locker at the airport. Oh, that locker. Oh, gee, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I was very obsessed with the wrong locker there. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we must be looking for that key. God, I'm glad you're here. Fuck. I wonder if all my friends from the nuclear cafe are dead. Hey, what about these books over here? Can I look at these ones. Hopefully, the old guy knows what he's doing here. He has books here. No, that he's dead. He got books. taken away. He's dead for sure. The chandelier. You want to look at the chandelier? All right. Peter. <laughs> Peter, make it so. Peter, 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 clicking that way. What are you doing? Go that way. There we go. Okay, hurry. I think oh, gee, you're a genius. I need my you're thing. an absolute genius. Okay. Wow. So now we go back to the airport. We're there! I didn't have to do anything. It's my stalker, Mr. Armpits. How are you doing? Big stretch. Get those armpits out. Here we are. 
It's all moving so fast. Okay. Guy said something about the light. Did he? Oh my god, that was weeks ago. <laughs> I'm glad you can remember. I will never remember that. Here we go. We're going to get all our crap back, which is the opposite of what I wanted. Do we have everything back? What the heck is this? A voicemail message from Mr. Huntington? He that sounds promising. Agitated. Seems to be oh, a video important. message. But I don't hear anything. You can only see his lips moving. Guitar Man. Oh my god, we have to go back to Guitar Man so he can read the video message to us. Clearance, hi! The you meet you come to us in the middle of the finale. Fake. We Oh, I walked through the wall then. Oh god, it's so miserable. And our stalker's still there. Clearly they know we didn't die in the great bombing of Statue of Liberty. Surely Guitar Man's not going to be sitting in the park right now. He's here! Where's his guitar gone? <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Oh my gosh, we have all this nonsense again. Shit, I didn't want any of this stuff back. Right. Guitar Man. <laughs> this is the- this is it! What's going on, man? You can read lips. I received a voice box message. The sound is missing. What does this man say? He says... Wait a minute... He says... Mr. Wright, you're in danger. Get rid of your messenger right away. They can locate you with it. What? What's that <laughs> supposed to mean? Damn it. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> no! Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, God! This man has no flow. <laughs> no! I fell down a manhole! <laughs> what a day! That day was crazy! <laughs> These damn bastards. I couldn't do anything. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it's really not angry. my fault! What should I do now? I can't go back. I'm stuck down here. <laughs> you, you gotta be a rat man now. <laughs> Let's get this way. Oh god. Maybe this is going to be like Dishonored now. But where are you going? I didn't want you to go that way. I'm not clicking anything. Where are you going? <laughs> okay. Okay. A shoe. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let's go back a minute. I feel like... I feel like I didn't get an actual chance to do anything here. You just ran off. Okay. Can I come across the bridge this way? Yes. Which is where we are now. easily get lost in here. Could almost oh. think that this is a maze. Don't you but dare! I not. I'm Martin! Sure I'll find my way, all right. No, Martin! Oh my god, I'm saving the game. Martin, don't do it. Not again. Oh no, Martin. Oh, Martin! What are you doing? <sighs> Let's go the other way. I don't want to go this way anymore. Pete, you were right to run past it. Right, let's look at this shoe now. My gosh. Okay. The shoe. Pretty damaged. Could that? <laughs> Could that? What do we have here? An old shoe. What are you talking about? <laughs> Pete, what? You've gone mad. What are you doing? Okay. Let's try the shoe on. Oh. Did I, did I tie up the shoe? I did. I lost half my stuff. It gave me my stuff for a second and then took it away again. What is down there? Oh, it's like a dead end, I guess. Right, okay. So. Oh, Pete. Oh. Your arm just like went inside out or something. And now you're glitching through the ceiling. What's wrong with you, friend? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so now I have a shoe that's sort of fixed a bit. And why have the police not followed us? Can I go any further? No, he doesn't want to. Okay, fine. We'll just keep going round and round in circles. That's fine. Peter? Oh, that was a real crotch shot on you then, Pete. I'm not sure he wanted your dick that close in my face. 
Uh, hang on, passage. No, Pete, come back. Okay, you could go that way if you want to. Pete, Flee, what have you done? Flea, what are you doing? Where are you going? Have you finished? Can you come this way? I can't stop going that way. What's he doing? Come back! Pete! Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay. This is quite the maze. What? Why create so many ways for this game to go wrong? It, that's just so pointless. So pointless. Mm. An old subway station. That's Can the I even go back in there? Avenue. I've been here before. Unbelievable, nothing has changed, really. They even left the lights off. Only that everything looks pretty much run down. It's ridiculous. Okay. There are people. I hope they're okay. I hope they're okay. Can we go back? You can! Oh my god, why would we need to go back? No, we're not going in there again. We'll just go this way. Where is Lafayette? Oh, hello, sorry. Lafayette. What people? Oh, hang on a minute. Telephone. Only an ancient telephone. Back then, when you actually had to dial the numbers. Rather than ringing a woman to give you the numbers instead. Can I use this telephone? No. Can I go in there? No. Alright, we'll just keep going, I guess. Charlie! Yeah, where's Charlie? Hello, Charlie. He doesn't seem to be in the mood for a chat. You haven't even tried. Give him a shoe. Do you want. A, a cryptic diary? Can I stab you? Can I set you on fire? No. Alright, we'll go here then. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Professor. Excuse me for barging in here. That's a lot Didn't of booze. Who the hell are you? What do you want here? Calm down now, Charlie. Good evening, my friend. <laughs> As if you've got a problem. What brings Excuse you me? to me? You... Uh... You're the guys from the airport, right? Oh, oh yeah! Um, I'm Peter Wright. That's right. I have seen your face on the telescreens. E You're dead, aren't you? Shot yes. To death, escaping from Governor's Island. No, come on, a they saw Luddite me in the park. Brought to justice by the state. I'm not a Luddite. You're I not. am a Luddite. I no. smashed technology. Or. I did it oh, without thinking, really? for no reason. Oh, you're definitely in trouble, Peter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. You have a problem with that? I mean. <laughs> Excuse because me? Because they say that I'm. Not at all. It's got nothing to do with me, and I do not want to get involved in anything. You have Why to do what feels right. Why does he have such a dark right. outline around his face? Right now, you have to hide. How right you are. Yep. There was a shooting in the park. Somebody got killed, but those bullets were meant for me. Let's get rid of him. He's only going to set the cops on us for sure. No, Let's Charlie. Get rid of him, professor. No, I Charlie. Really don't know where to go anymore? Have you got a messenger on you? No. No. no, I just threw it away, that damn thing. Good. Got any other electronic equipment? No. No. I have nothing. Come on, you got a knife, a lighter, a shoe, and a diary. Absolutely nothing. It's a pretty good, good combo. You can stay here. <laughs> That's a stupid idea, Professor. Shut up, what Charlie. What are you gonna do with all these damn guys? They're getting more and more. Leave it, Charlie. The man here needs help. <laughs> They're not even looking at each too. other, but yelling through their car I thank you cuddle. so much. You're safe here. Take a rest. Great, just great. Shut up. I have a question regarding this subway station. You mentioned several other men being down here. Yes, we have another guest down here. Is it Mr. Emerson? Graham Oswald. <gasps> Graham! He looks just terrible. Graham Oswald? I mean, no shit! Where is he? He's lying next door in the car. He's not doing I can't marry well. Debbie now. He's got horrible injuries. Oh, he crap. He told us that he escaped from Governor's Island. I have to see him. Now. Do we? He's Are we going to put him out of his misery? He's much too weak at the moment and can't talk to you now. I'll take care of him. I think we'll all be lucky if he ever recovers. You don't understand me. I have to see him. Now. Oh. Okay. Go then. But don't strain him too all right. much. May I ask you something? We're going to ask you about friend. Graham and the best way to kill him. The cops, the cops never come, come down, down here? here? 
Okay. If they come down here, they bring heavily armed troops with infrared localizers and night vision devices. Oh my god, well, I then, feel like that's something they're going what to do. do? You do? We use an escape tunnel and play cat and mouse. They haven't got a chance. <laughs> Not a chance! Football. No way. It's tell me about Graham. Graham Oswald. Did he tell, Did he tell you, you anything? Else? He begged us to take him to his family. They're my he family now. That he'd never see them again. He won't. That is impossible. They are looking for him everywhere. And they will not let him get away again. And we can't transport him either. He's lost too much blood. And if we move him, he'll bleed to death. I've basically just followed the exact footprint of Graham's journey. Except I didn't get shot. What is he accused of? I don't know what you he's know accused what he's of. Accused of right? We don't ask what anyone has done or why they come to us. Okay, fair he enough. Needs help, I've done and that's what matters. Some you just don't want to things. hear anything, right? Did you never think about why the Luddites do such things? And why they are wanted, chased, and tracked down by the police? Well, it seems why like you didn't think about it much like this in either, prisons Peter. just like Governor's Island? Tell me, who do the Luddites really threaten? I told you, Peter, I am not interested. I would help anyone who is suffering and needs my help. Okay, what fair enough. What separates us from machines, computers, programs, and clients is that we what? are human beings. <laughs> clients discover the that's earth. what it's about, being human. That's the only thing that no machine will ever be able to copy. Yeah, That's maybe. a rather obtuse thing to say. All right, I another question. Another question is um, I have another I question have another as well. Question. No one has any secrets here. Uh, mate, you made that sound way weirder than you needed to. Why does professor. Charlie call you professor? That's easy. Because I am, or better said, uh, was a professor. No one a can take that from you, surely. At university? <laughs> Are there any false professors? Although on second yes. thought, you're right. <laughs> yes, I there was are. a real professor who was replaced by a false professor. And In what was your special area? I was professor of computer linguistics at the Institute of Technology for 20 okay. years. Sounds, sounds wow. important. But that's a pretty qualified job. How can it be then? I mean... You mean how did I get down here? Figuratively and literally down here. Oh, you yeah. didn't need 10 words to what unpack happened? my sentence. Yeah, you could have just Peter, answered my I question. part of the Mindscape program. Mindscape? We oh my god. Improved AI Mindscape? structures, neuronal networks and so on. In a project commissioned by the government. Maybe okay. you know our first results from what's being applied in the infobots nowadays. I don't sure. know what you're talking but about. The infobots sure, okay, I do. <laughs> <laughs> of course. They were just our first attempts for industrial use. We had got much further at the Institute. You're making AI then robots. I did something that was actually fantastic. You invented the I Matrix? I wrote a program that was cleverer than I was. He did! But that in itself is not a bad thing. Yes, but this program made me... Is it Claire? And it took over my job. Is Quite it Claire? Enough, don't you think? And an electronic tutor replaced you? Yes, it was an AI routine that is being used a great deal now. It hmm. was also used and further developed by Professor Emerson's people. And hmm, they were rather successful. Emerson, yep. He's another person you that disappeared. You know this Emerson? Yes, of course. He was a fellow student and one of the most talented in our year. Mm. He was asked by the NSA to work on this Echelon 2 project directly yeah, after okay. finishing his study. I would say it's all coming He's together, dead. but I feel like it's Did maybe you know not that? all coming yes, together. I feel like it's Thank playing out in many directions. Yes. It wasn't too difficult to guess that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, not just any institution. The Institute of Technology. The Institute. I can fall out. Shit. Those guys are assholes. Why are you not one of them? I mean, one of the Luddites. The Luddites? You mean I would have enough reasons for joining them? Well, yeah. After all you told me. Yeah, I had would be the barely idea. any reason you for joining them. Decide. I'm like that poster boy. The Emerson took. Or you do nothing. That is unfair. I have chosen life. You've chosen this rat life. life. Yes, Not sure rat life. life is life. I look after Charlie. I help people like you. That's life. Responsibility. Charity. Selflessness. Not Selflessness? Not destruction and ambition and dreams of freedom. Dreams that can never come true. No, you don't let yourself be crushed. Reality. No, Peter. You are fleeing from reality. No, you, you are fleeing from reality. the hands of time. 
And you can't force reality to change by means of bomb attacks. I did not do that. I... I Oh, I yes, did. I did bomb you it. You know that if you are trying to live a life that doesn't exist anymore, then you'll only neglect living the life you could live. And in the yes, end, that's you what you're doing, you fucking hypocrite. I haven't got any kind of life since this system destroyed my life. That is what I have to change. Whatever you think. You will see that what you do I? What do I nothing. think? What do we stand for? I feel like it's never coming to an end. It just goes on. I have another question as well. Okay. Something else. Can I ask you something else? You have been living in this subway Jesus. here for 15 years? Not just in this subway station. In the beginning, I lived in the station directly under the Institute of Technology. <laughs> That's kind of Somehow creepy. Somehow, I had a need to be close to it. But that stopped after a while. When I picked up yeah, what Charlie, does Charlie do? Here. Why is Charlie here? This car is better. And in this part of the subway system, there are fewer rats, too. And okay. do oh. you plan to get old here? <laughs> I am already old. Well, I didn't well, want to say that, that anyway. but... Yet. Okay. How old? <laughs> We're going to ask him how old he is. Okay. Um, then okay. how old are you, Professor? Sixty. Why are you interested in that? Well... It's not so easy anymore for a man your age to live down here. Do you know Diogenes? He lived Who? in a barrel. Isn't that an attractive ideal? I think I'm coming quite close to that. That sounds Subway miserable. Philosophy. It's better than fighting against windmills up there. What are you on what about? You You've already seen us at the airport. We beg? You don't have to be ashamed to beg. It's an honest and tiring job. And when we are down here, they can't harm us. It's a convenient life. Sounds so inconvenient. Look at the bed you're sleeping on. I would Charlie. like to know something about Charlie. I mean, Graham's like bleeding out. How did you get to fine, know? We'll talk about Charlie. Charlie came to this me is. as I was living under the institute just after my dismissal. Came okay. to you? Yes. He was one of the kids that were orphaned during the street fights in the oh. Lower East Side. He fled into the subway system and was running about in the dark on his own. A six-year-old boy. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. And then he met you. Yes, I was just getting to feel at home, and then this poor little guy suddenly came into my car in the dark. And he's been with me ever since. Then you are like a father to him. And he's like a son to me. I don't know what I'd do without That's him That's quite now. sweet, actually. I feel the tears coming on now. Oh, all right, Charlie. No, I break the moment. Why does he reject me so? <laughs> Damn you, why don't you just ask <laughs> why me? Does sure me so? Why does he reject me so? Do you see what I mean? <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Leave Mr. Wright alone. He's fine. Tell him what a damn crazy man I am. <laughs> yeah. Charlie, haven't we had enough of okay. that? You have to learn to deal with yourself. You want to be an adult? Well, act like an adult then. Can that guy just damn disappear? They're after him, Charlie. Don't you understand? Charlie, don't they do me in now. They put him in jail for all I care. No, Charlie. Charlie. Let it go. I'll talk to him myself about this. No, oh, I won't. Yeah, that'll I... be great. I'm just so looking forward to it, man. Fuck you, man. You little rat man. I have Can no I interest in you or what you are doing. Of course, my friend. I don't think I actually have anything else to ask. Thank you. you. So nope. I'm going to go. I'm going to go and um, investigate Graham. Oh my god, here he is. Th we've, been f we've been searching for Graham. He's finally here. Graham, Mister... you have no idea the Mister trouble Puzzle. I've been through. Is that you? Ugh. Ah, Mr. Wright. Well, opened up all the moving <laughs> Oh, you remember who I am? Oh Thanks. God. What's wrong? I look terrible. Well, I, I thought you were dead, and I was quite happy about it. So you actually look pretty good. Prison isn't exactly a holiday resort. Yeah. This isn't a prison. I had that impression too. Damn bastards. Oh, you mean the prison you've been to? But it, it, it'll be okay. You need a doctor, and then everything I'll else will be. I'll help you. I don't think I need a doctor. No, you oh, don't. On. We're gonna make it. You need a divorce lawyer. He's lost a lot of blood. He keeps on passing out. I want to see Tommy. Professor, why don't you do something about Finn. it? Can't we stop bleeding? Doesn't look too good. Mr. You're, <laughs> you're not even looking at it. I'd you're behind the curtain. Diary. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Don't you think? My god, I was such an idiot. I was so stupid. Well, you I were trying to do it like... 
It was you weren't covering your tracks very well. I mean, even I followed them. Absolutely invaluable to me, Mr. Oswald. Don't it was not it. all in vain. I was you able to you... locate yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> target coordinates of the system. Okay. Stab him! Come on! <laughs> we could. We could set him on fire. You were there. I blew it out. I did. But I don't I know where the center of this system is located. We have the. Co I have them I here. Need the second coordinate. In order to have a. Oh, okay. I have the north, but not the, the west coordinate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. One of the coordinates is stored on my computer. I knew we'd have to log into that computer. You yes, the password. Enter the Graham, password. Graham, quickly before you what die. What is the password? Graham. Get Tommy and Debbie here. No, Graham. What is it? Graham. Double think. Oh, very funny. A very funny. Is double think. All right, all right. If you can make it to the airport, why would you'll I find a private plane on runway twelve? Whose plane? It's been fully refueled. Maybe it could take you to the center of the system. In any case, you have to get out of here, Mr. Oswald. Mr. Oswald. Is he? Only unconscious. Yeah, he's still breathing. Quick, find some mistletoe. Hello? What he's not even giving me the option to stab Hello, him. Hello, Mrs. Oswald. Are you home? Mrs. Oswald? Mrs. Deborah Oswald? Are you no. home? She's right there. Mrs. Oswald, unfortunately, I have <laughs> Mrs. to inform Oswald? you about your confinement to the house. Please Excuse don't get me? yourself into difficulties. You have the right to remain silent. Please stay away from the door. Pardon? Confinement? What do you mean? It's not that hard to comprehend, is it? Confinement? Why? Who are These you two anyway? Show me some identification me first. Type 2 scenario, right? Shall I? No. What does that mean? There's also a child in the house. I'll do it. Mrs. Oswald, Who's this I'm bastard? asking you to cooperate with us to make things easier for us both. Thank you. Please comply with the following instructions. You have the right to move freely in your apartment. You are not allowed to use any communication devices or to open any windows. Otherwise, what about when she runs otherwise? out of oxygen? Otherwise, we will be forced to make use of firearms. Are the instructions clear enough? Mom, who are they? Did they oh. take Dad too? Be quiet, tell me. Did you understand that, Mrs. Oswald? Yes. Yes, I understand. Good. Now it will be your Jesus, obligation heavy. to let your son be aware of those instructions as well. We certainly don't want your child to get hurt, right? Oh that you dare fucking That's all. threaten Number Tommy. Two, attend to the door. Yes, oh, we can. Oh my Good. god. And what are we going to do now? We're going to wait. Oh, you're going to wait for me to get... How do I know that this has happened? Alright, so Graham's passed out. Stab him. Oh my god, <laughs> I thought he was actually going to do something then. I guess we have to leave. I guess we can't do anything for Graham. We'll talk to Charlie and then we'll leave. Charlie! Hey, Charlie! What's hey, up? Hey, Charlie! Can I talk to you very quickly? Oh, man. No. Quit You'd be so man. underdeveloped having lived underground for 15 years from the age of six. Can you imagine? Can I Come ask on. you something? No! Oh, my God. Why are you in such a bad mood? Because he's got the Can mind I of a six man? year old. Yes, you are. Well, that's just my business. Of course. Give him long neck. Is it really because of me? <laughs> because I'm putting you guys out? Oh, I no. lost long neck. I lost long neck. I don't have it anymore. Why is it then? You're really bugging me, man. You know that? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I right. bug everyone, basically. But I have the feeling that you have some kind of <laughs> keep with me, pushing. And I just don't like that feeling. Come on then. Is that We're true? gonna keep going until you Must break. Be really hurting you, man. You're it really is. sad, you know that? Hey, what's that supposed to be? Did I do anything to you? Check out Rodriguez, man. Oh, no, man, you can't, because he's damn dead. How about that? What a jerk I am. Who? What is Rodriguez? it? What is that? What? Who is that supposed to be? I don't know any Rodriguez. No, you damn idiot. He was done in for you, man, but of course you don't know him. I have no idea what you're... Wait. Guitar, guitar man he had one yeah oh my god shit a friend of yours hang on who's that in the background i'm so sorry about that over there floating accident a, a real tragedy 
It's always the wrong guys that get off, man. It was really not my fault. Pete is acting oh, yeah. a bit up. You're one yes. of them guys who can never help it. Listen to me. I know how you feel right now. This you is know all nothing. very odd. Yes. I really do. It's not easy, but... Shut up, man! Okay, you can't help it. It wasn't your fault. You're really in a mess. You're a good man. Happy now? I'm really sorry. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna ask you Can something ask else you now. Something else? <laughs> I'm gonna be a right asshole. No. Yes. Look, we've agreed. Yes, I'm going to get a favor I wanted out of you. To ask you for a favor. <laughs> Why would you give oh, me yeah? a favor? Can you, Can you turn me the way to my apartment? To my apartment? Please. To your apartment, man. Sure. Why don't you just walk up the street and take the damn mag train, man? Why don't you just walk off and leave us alone? Fine. There's something there is... else. Uh, would you like to tell me a little bit about him? Would you like to tell me a little bit Do you want about to open him? Open up a bit. Tell you, you damn about jerk. Guitar yeah. man. Well, of course I don't know him very well, but we saw each other sometimes in the park. We had the same conversation over and over and over guy. again. Always in a good mood. Always relaxed. Very likable. Always high. Yep. Very often he made me laugh again when I was pretty down. Did he? Although I don't remember that. Well, oh, he made me laugh. On... I think he made you laugh. <laughs> Having a smoke? <laughs> yeah. He needed his smoke, he did. Man, those were cool times. I even Ooh, remember meeting really cool up with him again smoke, three guys. years after the riot. I, I, I said I was going to let you open up about Rodriguez, Guitar Man. I kind of regret it. You know I kind of do want to go to see my bride-to-be. Well, there's me running out of the waste pipe and bang! I run straight into someone, man! We both fall into the water all dizzy and with massive bumps on our heads. And then we look up and recognize each other. Man, it was fantastic. And then we... Damn, man! Why am I even telling you this? I don't know, mate. Because Why? <laughs> it's taking forever. Because it feels good to remember someone you like. That's true. No, I've not man. spoken about my wife Damn and child at good. all. No. Now leave me in peace. Oh, God. Sorry, Charlie. He just didn't hear the police tank. I was barely able to jump from cover. But he... He didn't hear them coming. He reacted too late. If you would have heard them... I'm sure we could have both saved ourselves. Are you victim blaming him for getting shot? I can't believe it. Why do you say again? It was well, the they're the ones who killed who his parents. The Lower East Side. Oh. oh. The riot? I had no idea the guitar man would get such a backstory. Head, and he could kiss oh goodbye God. never hearing any damn thing again for the rest of his life. And now he's dead because of police bullets. Damn. I just cannot believe it. Come on, Charlie. Get invigorated. Help me. Did you know Fight back. Pretty good? Let's go and talk to Yurik. I thought Yurik was dead. Oh, he's just peeking out of a pipe. Gosh. It goes Hello? on. Oh my god, Yurik, your face looks incredibly hey. low resolution. Are you not talking to me? Hmm. Well, then don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm gonna start insulting more people. Yuri, would you like a shoe, yeah. Yuri? I repaired the shoe as much as possible. Thank you, my friend. That is really nice of you. You're very you welcome, map, Yuri. You'll need one. Oh! Hello. Hello. Uh, hey. a map? Well. Take the shoe, Yuri. Thank Have you got a... You'll need one. Uh... No. We steal Charlie's money. Is it possible to go back in the sewers or is he going to be like, don't, no, we don't need to go back in the sewers. There. I have to click there, 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 where? Here? 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 Here. 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 He. No, here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why you make it so difficult, Pete. I reckon let's save and let's go and find that maze. We declined because it felt like a terrible idea. However, I would say that I'm intrigued now. 
Okay, Pete, don't do it to me. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, I thought he was gonna get stuck again, but that's fine. Okay, well, we'll give it a go. Oh god! Here we go! Why would they design this game this way? I feel like maybe we should go back and load the game back at the subway station. <laughs> I feel like maybe... Was this a bad idea? Bolton Station! Okay! Right, we've actually arrived somewhere. Oh god, it's so dark and miserable! Goodbye, Peter! <laughs> here he goes! How, can How do I get out of here? Yes. But you've just arrived, Peter. Oh, don't, don't give me that. The rest first? No By cocktails. Way, what do you want up there? Where they are looking for you. They'll probably I need put to you go find my future arrest. wife, Debbie. That's probably true. Are you familiar okay. with the surroundings down here? You probably are. Surely right? you could tell me. You've been here for fucking of ever. But oh, you is our tunnel specialist. He knows them like the back of his hand. He didn't seem if very you helpful. Know anything, then you should ask him. He wouldn't talk to me. He wouldn't talk you to me. Do you have a map for me? A map? Charlie keeps no, the map, does you don't he? Need one. You what? will show you the way and take you where you want to go. I'm sure I'll find the way by myself. Mm, I'm not so sure about tunnels. that. Maybe you can find an old map. Oh, I was just there! Ask Yuri, though. Okay.